If you're utilizing JotForm cards for your forms, enabling the review before submission option is a really good practice to give your users a summary page before they submit. Let me show you how. Now, JotForm cards can be a really nice tool in your JotForm tool belt because it allows people to focus on one question at a time. But again, before they submit, we want to be able to have them view their entire form just for accuracy purposes. So let me show you how. I'm going to go ahead and choose this product order form. I'm going to choose edit form. Then to enable the review before submission, I'm going to go up to the middle, up to settings. And it is under form settings, but it's underneath this show more options button. So I'm going to go ahead and click here and then we're going to scroll down to right here. Review before submit. I'm going to go ahead and toggle this on. I'm going to go to publish. I'm going to open up my form. I'm going to fill it out so that way you can kind of see what that process looks like. And now we can see that my payment choices have gone through. If I click next, it wants my billing information. So I'm gonna go and enter that and then next. All right, you can see we are on the last screen and you can see the button says submit and pay. It doesn't say review and pay. That is definitely something I want to call out because if you have some type of selling function within your form, it's going to say submit and pay. Let me show you another form that I have. This is one you can see it's missing the shop function. So once I get to the last question, it says review and submit. So that's one thing that you will see different. So if I click on this one without the shopping option, review and submit, we see here is where we can review. And if we want to, we can hover over and edit any of them. Let me go back to that shopping one. So if I click on submit and pay, it's technically not going to submit. It's going to take me to that review. So we can see all right, my address, my email name, if I need to edit my products at all. And then when we click submit and pay, it will officially submit the form. So if you have any questions about enabling the review before submit, please let us know and I'll see you next time.